name Tash and this is Rocco. Oh, Rocco, start that one again. I am a community theatre maker and a bit of a puppeteer too. Welcome to Every Home of Theatre with Mousetrap Theatre Projects. This week's challenge is... Yeah. You guessed it. Puppet party! This week I'm going to give you lots of really simple ideas on how to make some puppets from random objects that you have in your house. The best thing is you don't even have to be an expert to become a brilliant puppeteer. Mm. We would then love you to film it and enter our competition and I'll explain how to do this at the end of the video. So let's get started. I'm sure you've got a few of these things in your house like a newspaper that's been read, maybe some greaseproof paper that you've been using for baking, or even a smelly old sock. Now I'm going to show you how to use some of these random things to make some puppets. You could make a simple sock puppet just from cutting out a circle from a cereal box and sticking it into the mouth of your puppet like this. <laughs> And then you can add simple things to your puppet, like cotton wool for hair. And you could even go hunting around your house to see what random things you could find to decorate it with. You could use pound coins for eyes, or bottle top lids, or even one of these sponges. You could make your own puppet theatre just from a box, some baking paper, some tape and some scissors, and then some card, maybe some black card or white card or paper, whatever you have, and some sticks for your puppets and a light. All you have to do is cut a big hole in the front, cut out the back and stick on your baking paper and then make your puppet. <laughs> So now you've got your puppet theatre, you've made some puppets and you've got a lamp ready. All you need now is a little bit of darkness. And the best thing is you don't even need a shadow puppet theatre to make your own shadow puppets. All you need is a lamp, your hands and a wall. <laughs> And if there's a few of you around, you can make some really simple and effective puppets just from newspaper. I have just made um, an oval shaped ball and a round shaped ball of newspaper. Then I have um, rolled up some newspaper for the legs and just put simple bends in them where you want the knees to be. And then for my head, I've just added some shredded bits of newspaper and then just added a trunk and it looks like an elephant head. And then you can get your family involved because this puppet needs three people. If you leave the head separate, it moves around much easier. And there are so many other objects you could bring to life in your house. Here's just a few. Good morning. Feed me. I will take over the world. <laughs> what are you looking at? Hmm? You could even simply add eyes to your hands. So now you have a few ideas. You can see that puppets can be created from almost anything. I told you, you didn't have to be a brilliant puppeteer. I've got three simple steps to help you bring your puppets to life. One, give them simple movements. This will help give it a character. Two, Practice those movements in the mirror or on film to see what looks good. And three, give it a voice if it has one. 
and practice moving your hand at the same time as your voice. Now, go get creative. Think outside the box. You could make a play or a story with all of your new puppets. You could retell a story you already know, or even better, you could make up your own play using the tips from last week's video. And we can't wait to see what you come up with. Oh, and before you go, Mousetrap would love you to share your videos on social media. And if you do, you might even win some theatre tickets. Post your videos and tag Mousetrap Theatre Projects on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And make sure you use the hashtag EveryHomeTheatre. And when the weekly challenge comes to an end, the team at Mousetrap will be selecting some of their favourite videos and awarding some of you some West End theatre tickets. Good luck!